I have heard these times described in so many ways. They are a time of wilderness when we are all wandering through uncharted lands, looking for landmarks and, well, anything familiar. These times have been described as navigating whitewater. In the past, we may have navigated some rapids or currents, but have done so from within a relatively stable body of water. But now, we're in the white water where the rapids and currents are the norm and everything is changing. Finally, we've been given a meteorological metaphor. We began by understanding our time of COVID as blizzard. We all hunkered down, stayed inside and rode out the storm. Then we realized that this time was actually a winter, a longer period of change that required more protection and planning. And as this winter of COVID gets longer and longer, we consider that maybe these new practices we've been trying out are going to need to last much longer. Maybe we've moved into an ice age, an entirely new way of understanding how to do life in ministry. But you know what? If there is anyone who can kayak through wilderness whitewater in the winter, it's children, youth, and family people. Maybe you already have done this, literally and figuratively. I'm picturing this right now. You would. You'd be good at that. Now is the time to realize that we're made for this. Yep, our programs are going to be different and people are going to be frustrated, disappointed, and grieving. But you can do this. You already embody the characteristics of a leader who can weather this season or era or whatever we want to call it. In our workshop, I'm going to share with you the characteristics of a leader who is prepared for an uncertain future. I will help you recognize which of these characteristics you best embody and which you can further develop. And we will consider how we can take these leadership qualities front and center in a time when what we do is far less important than how we do it. So, Strap on that life preserver parka and get ready to hit the rapids. <laughs> <laughs>